Hi there guys, it's Chris here with SelfMadeNewbie.com and in this video we're going to go through the best fish finders currently out there today. Now I've kept this list as comprehensive as possible, narrowing it down to my absolute favourite top 5 picks so no matter what you're looking for there'll definitely be something in this list for you. So before we jump in, drop a like and subscribe and hit the bell to be updated with new videos. Alright, so the first one on my list is going to go to my recommendation for the best for most people and this is the Garmin Striker Vivid. 5CV fish finder. So this little, little gadget makes you think you've got Aquaman's powers, minus the ability to talk to dolphins and also the abs. If you ever feel like a fish out of water trying to find a fish in water, this bad boy might just be your new best friend. And if you don't have friends, well, it's probably because you don't have this fish finder yet. Some of the key features, clear imaging. The imaging on this thing is so crystal clear, you'd think it was directed by Steven Spielberg. If you can't tell a salmon from a shoe after this, maybe you should stick to land-based activities like knitting. The display options. This is basically the Netflix of fish finders. You want display options? You've got them. Switch from your angling rom-coms to intense fish dramas with just the press of a button. Sonar readout colors, maps, you name it. The pros, vivid visuals, again. Garmin doesn't just guide you through GPS, they give you the underwater realm like Poseidon with a GPS degree. The colorful visualizations are idiot proof. Even your tech challenged Uncle Bob could use this thing without calling you every five minutes. Mount it anywhere. This beauty's got an IPX7 waterproof rating. You can even mount it to a kayak. Although given its size, it's more like a flat screen TV you want in your bachelor pad, best suited for a boat. The cons, mountless. I guess Garmin assumes you're a DIY sort of person because they didn't include a transducer mount. But honestly, if you can't handle a little assembly, how are you gonna handle a fish? Also no preloaded maps. The absence of preloaded bathymetric maps might be a downer, but look on the bright side. It's got a quick draw system. It draws maps as you go, like some sort of angling Bob Ross. And we'll put a little fishy over here. There are no mistakes, just happy little accidents. The next one on my list is gonna to go to my favorite budget option and this is the Lowrance Hook 2 Fish Finder. So this is the IKEA of fish finders. Why? Well, it's cheap, functional, and has a name you're not quite sure how to pronounce. For the price of a slightly fancy dinner, you can feel like Captain Ahab on a budget. No white whales, but maybe some white bait. Key features, easy peasy. If you're someone who struggles with a can opener, fear not, setting up this beauty is easier than convincing your friends to skip leg day for a bar night. Also, maps, maps, maps. This thing comes with preloaded maps. You know, for those of you who think north is up. Wide angle sonar. This one has the vision of a hawk on Red Bull. A 40 degree wide angle sonar. You'll cover more underwater real estate than a submarine on Zillow. The pros, simple and functional. This isn't a high maintenance date. It's more like a Netflix and chill kind of gadget. You turn it on, it does its job. No fuss, no mood swings. Also, all hardware is included. They actually give you the mounting hardware. Unlike the other brand that assumes you have a transducer mount factory in your garage. Also, auto-tune sonar. For the tone-deaf anglers who can't fine-tune a guitar, let alone a sonar, this bad boy auto-tunes better than T-Pain. Also, the cons, no GPS. This is a fish finder, not a lost and found service. If you can't tell where you are, maybe stick to fishing in the bathtub. Also, low-res display. Look, the screen might not be 4K, but we're fishing, not watching Avatar. If you can see the fish, that's high def enough for me personally. The next one on the list is my recommendation for the best premium option, and this is the Simrad NSS 16 Evo 3S. So this is the lifestyles of the rich and famous of fish finders. For just a teensy price of around five grand, you know, the cost of a used car, you too can locate fish in opulent luxury. If you're wondering whether you should invest in Bitcoin or this, well, one of them might bring you a tuner. Key features, HD display. This isn't just any display, this is a, the Hollywood of displays. I'm talking 16 inches of high definition. Look at that fish's scales, you can almost see its self-esteem level quality. The control center, forget just looking for a fish. This thing is the Jarvis to your Iron Man boat. Control audio, engine monitoring, and probably the fate of the universe. Mirror, mirror, on the boat, who's the most connected of them all? With the option to mirror to multiple displays, it's definitely you. The pros, all the angles. You can read this screen from different angles and even with polarized sunglasses on. It's like the Meryl Streep of fish finders, versatile and visible under any light. 
Multitasking beast. This bad boy runs on an IMX8 high performance processor. In layman's terms, it's the Usain Bolt of processors. If Bolt was also good at finding fish. Social fishing. This display is so generous, you can have a fishing viewing party. Invite your friends, relatives, and hey, why not your disapproving mother-in-law to glare at the screen with you together? The cons. Where's the transducer? Yes, for that price, you'd expect it to include a personal angler to catch the fish for you, but no transducer included. It's like buying a Ferrari and finding out that the tires are extra. The next one on the list is gonna go to the best for side imaging, and this is the Hummingbird Helix 7 MSI G3. So you might think Hummingbird is what you get when a hummingbird and a fish have a love child, but no, it's actually a fish finder that provides cinematic views of fish and their hangouts. So if you're tired of your one-sided relationship with the underwater world, here's something to add a bit of depth, literally. Key features, side imaging. You know how you swipe left and right on Tinder? Well, this feature does that, but underwater. A 250 foot wide side view makes you the paparazzi of the fish world. Also map options, use live maps, preloaded maps, or just Google fish and pretend. It's all up to you. Third party compatible, like that open-minded copy you know. This device is open to third party interactions. It plays well with Navionics and other software. The pros, affordable depth. Look, there are fish finders out there for over a grand that offer side imaging, but why put yourself in debt when you can have this seven inch miracle for three digits? Impressive connectivity. This fish finder is like that annoying talented friend we all have, great connectivity, and you can pair it up with other devices like anchors, other fish finders, and probably your existential dread. Also detailing. This is like the CSI of fish finders. It can switch between panoramic view and a zoomed in view that practically shows if the fish are having a bad scale day. Cons, limited depth. The only downfall here is it's limited to 125 feet. So if you're planning to discover Atlantis, you might wanna look elsewhere, but for the average Joe, just wanting to catch something for dinner, it's plenty. The next one is my recommendation for shore fishing. This is the Deeper Pro Plus castable fish finder. So this is the nomadic lifestyle influencer of fish finders. This trendy little number is perfect for you who like to fish from the shore while still maintaining your aura of rugged individualism. Who says you need a boat to find fish? That's like saying you need an oven to cook dinner. Ever heard of takeout? Key features, portable. Seriously, you can put it in your pocket. Don't actually do that, you'll look weird, but you could. Versatility, use it from the shore, the boat, a kayak, and even while ice fishing. It's the Swiss army knife of fish finders, minus that tiny useless screwdriver. Phone pairing, no screen, no problem. This gadget pairs with your smartphone. Yes, it's one more excuse to be on your phone, like you needed another. The pros, affordability. By using your phone's display, the Deeper Pro Plus avoids the pay an arm and a leg scenario. You'll only need to pay some fingers, metaphorically speaking. Detailed mapping. It's got two beams and even offers a split screen of bathymetric maps and depth profiles. It's like the fish are in an episode of Cribs and you're the camera crew. Also, less is more. This device is small but powerful, like Danny DeVito if he were a fish finder. It gets the job done without all the drama and the heavy lifting. The cons though, risk of loss. Since you're casting it out, there's a slight chance you could lose it. But you know, fortune favors the brave or the foolish, your call. Wi-Fi dependency as well. You'll have to keep an eye on your Wi-Fi connection. If you lose it, well, I guess you'll have to actually enjoy nature or something, which I know is horrifying. All right, so those are my recommendations and I've tried to include some variety there to cater to whatever your needs are. And if you wanna confirm what they are again, do go down in the description and check out that list. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. And if you found value in this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.